Hi guys, it's me Joe, and this is a different video to my normal um, hair braiding, hair styling videos that I normally do. And this one's about my GCSE results. I just received them about two hours ago, and I'm fucking over the moon right now. Sorry for my swearing, I'm just... I don't normally swear, I'm just really excited and really happy. So I'll read them as follows. English language, 8. English literature, 4. Thing is though, with my English literature, I normally got 8s and 7s in my past assessments, so when we did assessments in class and all that, I'd normally be getting the top grades. But this one maybe I didn't do that well in. But it's getting sent off, I think. So, anyway, a four's still a pass, and so I can still get into college. Mathematics, I got an eight, which I was really happy with, because two of the papers I didn't even finish. I was a question or two away from finishing, but then again, they were really hard papers. Music, I got an A, which I was quite doubting a lot. I thought I was going to get B at most, but I got an A. French, I got A star, which... I'm so fucking happy with. Um, catering, I got a B. Biology, um, so we were on the A branch of biology. I got an A on that, which I was totally doubting. I was like, I'm, a, I'm going to get a B in biology, B in chemistry, B in physics. But then I ended up getting the grades I wanted. And, and B's all right in chemistry, that's what I got. So biology, I got an A. Chemistry, I got a B, like I mentioned before. And I wasn't even doubt. I wasn't even like annoyed about that because I I I had gotten some good marks. I I, I got like two A's in my in two of the four of my chemistry assessments, if that makes sense. But I got two B's in the others, and so that brought it down to a B. But then in physics, which was the one that I thought, damn, this is the hardest exam, I got an A. I came out of the P7 exam, so that was the last exam that my school did, and I and a few other people were entered for separate science exams, and I got an A. I walked out of the last exam thinking I'd failed, and I broke down, but the reason why I broke down was, it was mainly because I, I, um, just the stress of revising and all that, you know. The next thing I want to move on to is the notion of good results. To me, good results is passing. Good results are results that I can get if I pass and if I put the hard work in. If I haven't put the hard work in and I get a result which is below my capability, then like I wouldn't consider that a good result for me. But some people on results day have gotten all C's, or all B's, or all A's, or all A stars, and it entirely depends on what you class as a good result. A good result for me is just passing, and it's a good result basically also is just getting a grade that's at the highest end of my capability and my ability to achieve, and I'm just really happy about that. Well. Some people may be, you know, too scared to open their exam results right now and are probably waiting for support on that. But if you are waiting to open them, then good luck to you. I'm happy for everyone who's done their best and who's worked hard and who have, who's revised. I was just so dreading my exams because I, I had... Well, if I go from the start of year 10... I wasn't that bothered about revision, like, I was a hard worker and I put my whole effort in class, but it got to like January of this year when I really started to knuckle down, which is quite early compared to most people, um, and I managed to revise efficiently and all, and it's paid off and I'm just so thrilled about it. But in my family, my dad said to me I could come home with all fails and he'd still be proud of me, only if I worked hard. I know I'd, I'd never get F's in my GCSEs, but, like, um, but his point was that hard work triumphs all, it comes above everything. 
these grades, these three A stars, three A's and two B's, these these grades and a C, sorry, um, these grades are a result of a hard, of hard work that I've done. What matters is putting my all into working and revising in order to get the results that I deserve. Yeah, again, about my English literature, I think I'm going to send that one back off to, um, I think I'm going to get it sent off again, because it just didn't seem real to me, like, either something's gotten lost, or someone's not marked it properly, or who knows, it could be for any reason, maybe I was lucky to get a four in that exam, or maybe I was just wronged. But apart from that, I'm not bothered, I'm just so happy, like, I could dance around the room right now in happiness. And the subjects that I'd like to study at college are maths, French, and music, and they're the ones that I've gotten the top grades in. So maths, 8, which is A star, obviously. French, A star, and then music, A. And so I've gotten A or above in those subjects, and so I'm sure I can tell, and I think other people can tell, that I can excel at these subjects and that I'll be able to study them in the future without any worries. See you later. I hope you've all had a nice results day and I'm, I hope you get the best results that you can. Yeah, that's all really.